Y'all gonna get a hundred. Y'all always got a hundred percent real uh, bandana black, but y'all gonna get a hundred percent honest everything. I don't care what the topic is. Nigga, I just did a video about whack one hundred. Everybody else is scared to do this shit. Everybody else would have did this video. Shit would have been down within an hour. I didn't disrespect that man, even though he disrespected where I'm from. Didn't disrespect Wack 100. Um, I'm not going to disrespect Wack 100 unless he does something to disrespect me uh, directly. And it'll just be, I don't even know that. Y'all don't even know this nigga. Y'all be letting this nigga do this in New York. I don't forget. Listen, I don't know Wack 100. Y'all don't know Wack 100 either. Stop letting this nigga buy y'all. Again. Think about They can't stand the facts. No. A lot of them insane. They can't stand this rap. I'm so buffalo like I'm bandana black. But from the 716, we determine and we discipline. Oh, that's your man. Better get him for you missing that. DJ Band Band Bandana. Say the good die young. I never prayed I get old. Nah. <laughs> All right, my bad. I had to, uh... I had to grab a hat for some reason. I don't know why, but I just hate the way my head looks so shiny on the actual videos. And I try to, uh, I try to make sure that I wear either something that I own or, uh, one of the brands of one of my people's or something like that every video. So every shout out to my man Woods, uh, this is the MMLV. Uh, make sure you go check him out. You got the store down here in Buffalo. Uh, you can check him out online and all that stuff too. Just, uh, search hashtag MMLV. It stands for more money, less violence. So it stands for more money, less violence, which is actually kind of dope. Because of the the topic that we're actually about to talk about, um, because um, and and I want to be careful how I say this too, because I honestly I don't have a problem with uh, Wack One Hundred. I don't have anything good to say about Wack One Hundred, but I don't have anything bad to say about Wack One Hundred either. Um, whenever we're on the same platforms and anything like that, um, I usually will just back out of the room just because I don't want to. I just can't. Uh, some of the things that he stand on and what he's doing to the state that I actually care about is not a uh, it's not a good thing and a lot of people from my state is actually supporting y'all the fucking reason why he's actually able to do it when I say y'all I'm not saying y'all that's actually watching it but y'all who have these platforms who allow him to um, help put New York in the, the, the position that it is in right now um, so I just want to say it up front I don't have anything bad to say about WAC 100 but I don't have anything good to say about him either so he he do his thing I do my thing um, but his thing is affecting my thing because my thing is actually helping people. My thing is actually uh, pushing the culture forward. My thing is actually uh, positivity. My thing is actually uh, what is it? Just being a decent person. <laughs> being a, 2022 decent person. All right. Everybody gonna make mistakes. Everybody gonna fuck up. But just decent person, bare minimum. If you can't be a decent person at bare minimum, then um, you, you in the same boat as WAC 100. So, um, WAC 100 and Mano, and for, for those, we're going to talk about the Mano part first because this is crazy. Like, I don't, I don't get people like, Mano could have did absolutely nothing, right? Mano is rich. Mano is, he might not be the richest man in the world, but Mano is well off enough to where he doesn't, he doesn't need to do anything. Um, music wise, um, pretty much ever again in life. Pretty much. Not saying he's like super rich, but Mano is good, right? So Mano doesn't need, uh, Mano doesn't need the support of the, 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 the mayor of New York City. Mayor, uh, Mano doesn't need the attention of the police, uh, in, in New York City. So basically what happened was, um, Mano had a meeting, I guess, with the mayor and some of the drill. And when, let me just say this up front. I do, besides five year old foreign and a couple of the pop smoke and a couple other people, these younger guys, I do not know you guys' name. Everybody looked the same. Everybody music sound the same to me. I'm just saying, I might just be, when people be calling me old and calling me uncles like that, I don't know. I might just be old. I might be at that point, but the shit just sound like noise to me at this point. I might be old because I'm saying music sound like noise, but besides the music aspect of it, like I said, I'm going to tell you up front, New York City drill rappers, I support it. Any young person doing anything that can get you legit money i support it for every hour that you're in the studio rapping about shooting somebody i support it and i know people come like well, why would you support somebody rapping about uh shooting somebody because the opposite of that shit could be he could be outside actually shooting somebody and after he does this song he might be doing that but this song might put him in a better position to where the next person he won't shoot i'm dealing with the reality of the thing i'm not one of those people and for those of you that's new on this channel you're gonna understand i mean for those of you that's not new on the channel you understand people that's new on the channel you probably thinking like yo he, he don't sound like the rest of these YouTubers. Like he's not just like agreeing with what they saying. No, because I have no affiliations to anybody that they have affiliations to. And nobody can tell me anything. I, I own my, my, my shit is my own shit. Like the whack 100 can't call me and say, Hey nephew, I don't like what you just said about me. Um, he go a quick cash app, take that down. He can't call me and say, yo man, I'm gonna come into your room or you know what I'm saying I'm gonna promote you. If you let me, I'm saying dog your city and make you guys look horrible. He can't do that with me. Nobody can't do that with me. Buffalo is a different type of place. Um, but Damn, we got a lot of comments over here, too. You lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I definitely lost a lot of weight. I'm down to about 230. About 230. It's healthy right now, though. Down to about 230. I was about 
Uh, at my highest, I was about two, I think like 279, 280. But this is actually, this is healthy black right now. Y'all was looking at stressed, uh, fucking going crazy, uh, all types of shit black before. Drinking all the time black. I haven't had a, oh, I did have a drink for my birthday, uh, a week and a half ago. So I did have a drink for my birthday a week and a half ago, but I haven't even, uh, drank for about four months. I quit cigarettes all that. But we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about, uh, um, WAC 100 purchasing New York City and being the king of New York and Maino saving the money. That's what we're here to talk about today. So that's what we're going to talk about. Um, so with the Maino situation, right? So Maino got a lot of these, uh, drill rappers together and they had like a, I guess, a, um, like a power. You basically, the mayor said, y'all niggas keep killing each other and y'all keep rapping about killing each other. And I'm the mayor and I can see that you're rapping about killing each other. I got to do something. So we probably going to affect the rap shit because y'all keep rapping about killing each other. I can't stop you from killing each other, but y'all keep rapping about it and putting it out. Y'all giving us the evidence. Basically what the mayor was saying was, you just killed him and then gave me the evidence and said, arrest me. But if you arrest me, then I'm going to be mad because you're going to say somebody snitching. That's what you niggas is doing. That, literally, that's what you niggas is doing. That That's what you niggas is doing. But what Mano did was, Mano did the opposite of what WAC 100 is doing to New York City. Well, New York State now, um, Mano's doing the opposite of what WAC 100 is doing. Regardless of what he's telling you, uh, what, what the, the actual outcome of what WAC 100 is doing, Mano's doing the opposite of that. What Mano did was he took it upon himself. Like I said, he doesn't need to do this. He took it upon himself to be the forefront. He might not even been the person that put it together, but he's the person that we all know and it looked like he put it together. But anyways, put a bunch of these drill rappers together and they came to some type of meeting to where they're at least going to, the mayor's is going to hear their concerns and they can try to work out their problems. So a lot of people immediately went to the internet and said, Mano can't stop the shootings and they still gonna shoot each other after this. And what do you think he's doing? And that's whack. They should have been there and they, they still obs and you know what I'm saying bodies drop and shit like that too. Bro, I'm gonna keep a G with you on this channel. I'm gonna keep this is this is gonna sound fucked up. What I'm about to say is gonna sound fucked up, but it's real. I, I gotta be real with you on this channel. I can't, I gotta be real with you on this channel. So um the, the shooting is not going to stop. Niggas is going to kill each other. Niggas is always going to kill each other. Niggas is always going to shoot each other. Niggas is always going to, these young niggas is always going to rap. They want to go to jail. Look at Kodak Black. Kodak Black, NBA young boy, want to go to jail. My nigga, you got pardoned by a racist president and you're black with dreads. And you came out and did the same thing. It's something in jail with all those half dressed men that you like. Kodak Black. So that's, that, that's the different. But anyways, um, the, 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 the drill scene as far as these artists and people having problems and stuff with each other, that's not going to end. So I don't know whether, um, you guys were expecting that that's what Mayna was going to do. No rapper, no gang member, no anybody, no anybody, no man besides God himself can come down here and tell you that, um, we're going to have a meeting and y'all niggas going to stop killing each other. But what Mayna did, cause he understands the same thing that WAP 100 understands, but he's doing the opposite to you guys and you're supporting it. Mayna understands that. We can, we can, we can, we can have beef and shoot each other, right? That's going to happen, but we can have beef and shoot each other and make money with the possibility of stopping shooting each other and, and having these problems and shit like that. So what Mano did was he tried to save the money by, he didn't go there and say, I'm, I'm stopping the violence. Y'all two got to shake hands. Da, da, da. No, he probably don't. I, he didn't do, he didn't do that. What he did was he tried to save the business of it, the music of it, the New York city drill music that they're trying to put a hold on, that they're trying to, uh, to, to regulate. And they're trying to get off of social media that you guys are not understanding that that's your money, bro. Like you can't go to all this up in the, th how the fuck are you going to buy a 30? If you can't sell the music, you can't put the music out in order to get the money to do it, bro. It doesn't work. You know, they're cutting off your money supply. You niggas are not going to be able to beef with each other. You're going to be broke with a bunch of felonies that you can't fight with public defenders. And you're going to be doing 15, 20 years in jail. So what Maino tried to do, the exact opposite of WAC 100 was at least try to save the money and the business aspect of it by bringing the mayor and them in and having the actual meet in the power, at least hear each other. So what happens with that is Maino can say, I did my part. Y'all niggas about y'all young niggas done fucked up your lives, shooting each other. Now you better fuck up the money. I'm going to help y'all not fuck up the money. So here, I'm going to put this together and y'all can, Keep that shit to the sides where they can't just blame it on drill music. Just say that shit is some gang shit or some, y'all just don't like each other. Don't say the drill music when you put it on the drill music. That is the drill business and that's how you make the money. So how do you think you get the money to buy those guns to run down on your ops? How do you think you get the money to fight those cases when you're bare face, not even, you're rapping about the shit that you're doing, bro. You're going to jail with a public defender. You need the money from the music to pay for the public defender. But if you're in the music, talk. I do, if you like jail, go to jail. That's all I'm saying. But shout out to Mano for trying to avoid that hap from happening, though. But for all you young niggas who want to go to jail, I'm not saying I support it. But if you do, just give me the exclusive first so I can put the video out first so I can get the money um, off of the use for it. I'm keeping G with you. If you want to go to jail, I'm telling you not to go to jail. But if you're doing shit for you, before you go to jail, 
just give me the video first so I can get the views. I'm 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 gonna chop you out too. So at least you can go to jail with I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you twenty dollars on JPay. You can get some shit while you because you want to go to jail. I'm gonna help you out, bro. I'm gonna help anybody that wants to go to jail. I'll I'll I'll, I'll help you out with that situation, bro. Um, not as far as like you going to, I'm not gonna help you out with that situation. As far as like the, the video of it after it, I'll put that out and make some views of it. If that's what you want to do. Um, cause that's pretty much what, oh, we didn't even talk about the WAG 100 party. We definitely have to, you know what? Let me play another song. I'm going to crack this window cause these lights is hot as fuck as always. Uh, let's play this and then we're going to finish. If I fuck up, I fuck up again. You shouldn't never bought your best friend. Cause you know my shop be connecting. Copper really to speed up the flexing. Speed up the flexing. Speed up, speed up, speed up the flexing. Mama and daddy ain't show me no love. Threw me to my oxy, now I'm a welfare baby. I'm a welfare baby. I'm a welfare baby. They was pushing me to test. Come on. These streets kick my heart left to right. This perky make a nigga pee the pipe. I'ma turn a shawty up all night. She about to have a sweet life. Cause I hit her with the green light. Green light. You don't wanna fuck no bite. You don't wanna beef no bite. You ain't even about that life. Come on, stop lying about your life. All this agony and had a fight. All this hate. All these demons beside. Put your bitch in beside. In the school, she gon' ride. If I fuck up, I fuck up again. You shouldn't never bought your best friend. Cause you know my shop be connecting. Copper really to speed up the flexing. Speed up the flexing. Speed up, speed up, speed up the flexing. Mama and daddy ain't show me no love. Threw me to my oxy, now I'm a welfare baby. I'm a welfare baby. I'm a welfare baby. I'm a welfare baby. Pack, baby, trapping all crazy. Good guys going for the lotus. Shit, you blow, gon' have you lazy. Anytime I jump in traffic, let's get served long as they pay me. Anytime I throw drip on your bitch, gon' fuck, that's why you hate me. Get paid for a feature, I might spend that shit with the fuck. All I know how to do is jug. We don't got jobs, we live off drugs. Once I hit a bitch, she a thug. I'm a lit nigga, I don't need no love. She gon' choose up, cause I'm a thug. Welfare, baby, running it up. Hey. If I fuck up, I fuck up again. You shouldn't never bought your best friend. Cause you know my shop be connecting. Copper really to speed up the flexing. Speed up the flexing. Speed up, speed up, speed up the flexing. Mama and daddy ain't show me no love. Threw me to my oxy, now I'm a welfare baby. I'm a welfare baby. I'm a welfare baby. Welfare baby. Come on, come on, come turn up. You not on my speed, you not on my level. Come on. Dig another hole for you. Fuck niggas. Come on, bring another shovel. No. I'm out of turn up. Uh. I'm about to go ape. I'm about to go beast mode. Beast mode. What is you niggas talk about? Yeah. Oh, a whole nother road. Oh. A whole nother flow. Oh. I'm out of the surf, baby. I explode. Crying on the floor. Oh. Hell yeah, get some more. Come on, baby, get some more. Come on, baby, get some more. Baby, Give me that net, eh, eh. I know that you wet, eh, eh. I see through your eyes, baby. Girl, you dripping all through your chest. If I fuck up, I fuck up again. That's like my joint. That's like my joint right there. Uh, 716-235-1016. 716-235-1016. It's the Blackout DJ Band. Actually, I don't even think I put the, uh, the title of the actual uh, video. <laughs> In the in the actual song. I mean, I didn't put the title of it in the actual title. Uh, 716-235-1016, 716-235-1016. Let me see. He says, boy didn't record during the protest. <laughs> yeah, no, that was real. That was real footage right there. That was definitely real footage uh, live in Buffalo, New York. That was definitely real footage. Um, Jeffrey Lasside says, what's, what's up, DJ Man in the Black? Shouts out to you. Uh, he was like, yep, this is shot. <laughs> Hell yeah. But, um... So back to the to, to the whack 100 part of it, right? So 
Manu was out here trying to save the money for the for the for the young people that's out here. And WAC 100, I seen a um a lot, and I said this plenty of other times before too. I don't I don't think that WAC 100 is doing anything wrong for his coast and for what he for himself for for what WAC 100 does for himself. But I think that is awfully corny. You know, let me let me take this off the strings. I want you guys to to fully understand what I'm saying here. I think that it is awfully corny and whack for uh, it's actually corny and whack for WAC 100 to be able to. I'll put it like this, right? There is nobody, there's nobody outside of Buffalo that can get on my platform and badmouth somebody from Buffalo on my platform. Period. I don't, I don't care. I don't even gotta fuck with the person. It could be somebody who I don't even fuck with from Buffalo, or somebody who don't fuck with me because like, that's what I'm, I'm putting it like that. That's somebody who I don't fuck with because I fuck with everybody. But for everybody who be, for anybody who don't fuck with me on my platform, somebody can't say something about you if you're from Buffalo. I don't care who you is. Um, and I think that that should be the same thing as far as what. Our coast, because you can't, the same thing that WAC 100 is able to do on every platform in every room, whether it's New York, whether it's Atlanta, whether it's, which, I'm not even going to say whether it's Atlanta, because we don't do the shit with the New York room. That shit don't happen to any other room, any other state, any other anything besides New York, and we letting this shit happen. Um, I just think that it's whack and it's a dangerous game, because if you look at the outcome of what WAC 100 is doing, you're going to see more of the opposite of what, uh, what, what, what Maino is doing right now. Maino's trying to help the situation as far as like, yo, not only are you guys like, getting locked up and killing each other, but you about to fuck up the money also. Whack 100 is supporting you fucking up the money. He's paying people to help you fuck up the money for New York so he, for his own selfish shit. And y'all keep supporting. Like I said, I don't have anything bad to say about Whack 100, but I definitely don't have anything good to say about Whack 100 because I have friends right now. I have friends right now who I have to send money in JPEGs and shit too to help out in prison because of a nigga that told on them who thought they was ready for the streets and played the street shit and then said, you know what? I'm going to separate the streets and, and, and the business aspect of it and the civilian aspect of it when it's convenient for me and it works for me, then it helps out for me. And now them niggas is locked up for 20, 30 years. The same way a lot of your friends, WAC 100, if what you're saying is true, it's locked up for the same thing and you're actually supporting it. So you're paying for them to get out of jail and you're paying for them to go to jail. You're paying for your friends to go to jail, WAC 100, by supporting a rat, by supporting a rat and by supporting people like Lil Haas X, aka Hassan Campbell or Hassan Donna Campbell, whatever fuck this nigga name is, um, and and and, and the, the the Jeffrey nigga or the there's nothing bullets or Gotti about this nigga, but these are the niggas that you support, Black 100, and because of your influence and because of oh I'm going to use my street shit to, to to put these people in a position to for people to respect me for me to get this shit, but then when I get there and people question the bozo shit that I'm doing, I'm going to say no nah, man, it's my business, it ain't got nothing to do with street shit man, it's Cali shit, you got to leave it on the New York shit. How the fuck is y'all going for this? I see this long as it's long as it should stay where it's at with, 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 with that. It's cool, but y'all gotta, it can't be the whole New York. It won't be the whole New York. It, it can't be. Um, that's not, it's not even, I'm not even saying the whole New York. It won't be New York period. Whack 100 is not the king of New York. Whack 100 has bought a couple of people from New York. Whack 100 has influenced a couple of people from New York. Whack 100, like how the fuck do you let a nigga tell you? I don't respect anything that you stand on. I don't, I don't acknowledge, I don't respect anything that you stand on, but you have to acknowledge and respect everything that I stand on. And when I come into your room, I'm your dad. That shit is crazy to me, bro. I guess, I don't know, maybe growing up in Buffalo, New York shit is just different because we don't really have like, uh, and when I say leaders, I'm not saying like in a, in a bad way. We, you should have leadership. You should have people like Jay Prentice and you should have people like, uh, uh, with Migos and them, uh, CEO and the Gucci's and the people, those, those type of people that can look at a situation and say, you know what? I'm going to bring these people together and stop it before it get too rough. Or I'm going to stop a nigga like WAC 100 from basically just purchasing bullshit of, of, of New York City and basically making New York City look horrible and, 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 and making New York as a whole look terrible. Usually most cities have that type of person. Like I said, like the J Prince or even like the trick trick and shit like that. Where I'm from is a little different. Nobody gives a fuck about anything. Nobody can't tell you anything. Honestly, it'd be up with anybody. I think a nigga give you advice about some shit and you have a problem with him in our city. So that's why everybody's pretty much do what the fuck they want. Uh, Mizo slutty gangster all the way from Jonasburg, South Africa. Guns down, homie. Salute. Definitely, definitely. Guns down. More money, less violence. More money, less violence. Have you shout out to my man Woods? More money, less violence. It's a Buffalo thing. And I keep saying it's going to be more violence. And less money if I don't get a red MLV. I'm going to stop saying that, though. But Woods, out of the kindness of your heart, bro, when you get a red shirt, you just let me know. Because I'll buy it at this point. I, I'll buy the shirt. I need a red MML. I need a red. Somebody with a Buffalo clothing line, I need a red shirt size extra large. If you give me a red size shirt extra large, I wear it on the show. I promote the show, all that. I need a red shirt extra large. I want it to be the MMLV, but Action Woods for a couple years is cool, though, bro. I know he'd be busy, though. It's cool. Call in New York, rock two different ways. 
Uh, Yoke Slim says Cali and York rock two different ways. Uh, Chopper City was good. Black was good. Was good. DG was good. Um, listen, I know that, uh, that, that California and York rock two different ways. You know, I knew that, you know what? I didn't know that I, all this time. I thought WAC 100 was lying about something that he was saying on these videos and on these, uh, these platforms. But I guess it's just because I've never been to California, but this shit is true. Did you know that this shit is crazy? Like this is mind boggling to me. So there was a, there was, I forgot what video it was, but it was a video where WAC 100 was arguing with somebody, right? It was a complete stranger. This wasn't like a fellow gang member. Like they wasn't both like part of the same, whatever affiliations that they have. This was like a, a complete stranger who had a beef with WAC 100. You know what WAC 100 told this guy? This like blew my mind. Cause I thought all this time, I thought he was like joking. Cause like, you know, we all watch boys in the hood and menace to society and shit like that. So you'd be thinking like a lot of this shit. We'd be thinking it's just like movie shit, but this is real shit that WAC 100 said. You know what WAC 100 told this nigga? WAC 100 gave this nigga his address. And said, pull up on me and we can, I think he said, what did he say? We can shoot the fade. We can shoot it. We can shoot a fair one. Like basically he told him, he gave him his address and said, pull up on me. He gave him his real address and expected a fair fight. That shit was mind boggling to me. And like in Buffalo, New York, you're going to give me your address and expect a fair fight. Everybody is getting shot. That shit is crazy. Like, I didn't know that was a real thing. Like, bro, it's 2022. Stop telling people you're going to pull up on them. Stop giving people your address and all that stuff. I guess outside of wherever, um, uh, whack 100 is, I guess that's, that still happened. Like I said, it might, be, it might be different, but for people that's outside of that, I wouldn't suggest you give somebody your address and expect a fair fight. I'm telling you with me, you got an issue with me and you saying you put it up on me and I give you an address. It is not for a fair fight. I guarantee you it's not for a fair fight, bro. Um, that shit is crazy though. Whack 100 will get somebody hurt. Uh, let me see what's up, black years, laugh them all. I'm a few minutes behind, but you said Lil Haas X. That was funny. Oh no, yeah, that's his name, Lil Haas X or Hassana Campbell or um. We never, we never. I, I, I'm done with that with, with that aspect of it. Like, if y'all niggas want to drink the Kool Aid and follow that man, then that, that that's cool. But I just don't understand. Just don't understand how you are the Bronx River serial killer. You're on the internet talking about bodies that you did not go to jail for. You said to yourself, "I never got caught for this body. I never did this." Da da da. You are big bad. Poppy, Little House X, whatever like that too. And a nigga fondled you live on your, you held the camera. He was walking with, first of all, he brought a grown man to the city, wine and dine a grown man, got him drunk. What did you think was going to happen inside camera? You brought, that was your boyfriend. He was, you took him on a date, my nigga. You brought that, your moderator on a date in your city because you a gangster and walk around with him on camera like this. When a nigga started fondling you and you asked him, why are you doing this? He said, cause I can't. I'm not saying what I would have did <laughs> because that wouldn't have been me, but I can guarantee you if that, that it wouldn't be no more videos after that. The next video would be yo, it's a GoFundMe. We need about a half a million for bail money. I promise you that you got Fondo on your channel on live and did nothing. You went to the projects to show us that you can go back to your hood and you big, bad little house X niggas are throwing bottles at you in your projects. We don't even have projects in my neighborhood. I'm from the east side of Buffalo. Uh, the, the east side of Buffalo, we don't even have projects in my neighborhood. But nigga ain't never threw nothing at me. And I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm just saying if it did, something has to happen after it. If that's what you're going to portray. Now, I don't even portray that. I just portray to be a man. You portray to be the, well, you're a blood sometimes, and you're not a blood sometimes, and then you're an activist sometimes, and you're not an activist sometimes, and then you're gay sometimes, and you're not gay sometimes, and then you're, you are fighting for the cause. But all I see is Lil Haas X pointing tough to a camera like he was doing for the last few years and he's going to keep doing it for the years going ahead. And now he don't link that with academics where he has a bigger platform to look like he is the face of New York. You know why? Because of fucking WAC 100. You know why WAC 100 is able to do it? Because of you guys that's from New York who allow him to do that bullshit. Won't happen here. That's why the, our channel may never get to the, to, to, the, to the amount of views that those other channels get, but you would never hear that. But you would never see me have a, a conversation like this and WAC 100 be able to get in the conversation and say, you know what? You got to take that off, nephew. Fuck no. Uh, he got, he feeling big, bad, but put hands on his grandmother like a punk. Exactly. And y'all niggas follow this, uh, this, this bullets got, he, his name is not bullets got it. We're calling, what's a safe name? What's a, what's a, we'll call him just cause it sounds funny. I just thought about it. Bullets got name right now is Jesus. Your new name is Jesus, bro. I'm not calling you bullets got Your name is Jesus. You're a friendly guy. Um, other day, some homie had the whole drop on him and whack got kind of shook up. That's crazy. I'm telling you, people playing around. Yo, I'm telling you, people playing around. You can't be playing around with your freedom in your life. By the way, too, real quick, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. Matter of fact, let's just take a quick, quick intermission real quick. We are going to keep talking, but I want to take a quick intermission. Uh, where's the volume at? Hey, yo.
Also, too, also, too, make sure you subscribe to my cash app. <laughs> make sure you subscribe to my cash app. I'm just joking about that. I'm serious about that. But I'm joking about that. But make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button. Make sure you share these videos, too. If you're watching this on Facebook or Twitter, please hit that share button. If you watch this on YouTube or Twitch, hit that like button. Appreciate you. DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. 2021, we still at it. Niggas are still hungry. The Wolves is out. Hey, yo, Donnie Grams. They loved it on the first time round. It's only right we give them part two. I now present to you, Holy Grail, part two. Donnie, DJ talk to him. I always knew Bandana. what I knew, so it stuck on my mind. I always heard that it get better in time. I only fuck with my fam. An extra hand to help me cover these grams. If wasn't rapping, I'd be hustling, damn. I tried to figure my way. They threw me shade, but I stuck to the plans. From a place a nigga kill you, then his bitch start fucking his mans. That's on the gang, nigga, show you right. But what's wrong is when you gone, bet the ops show your son was right. They playing foul, but don't want the action. I just started my run in 10 years. This probably be a classic They say they loyal But what else they say No help a hand When it's time to put in To help set the plates They know my name If they was moving to white I always moved on the low I'm not these niggas Never needed to hike They only safe Cause they family respected Cops know me by face The plug too When I wasn't connected They show me love Then I show it back These niggas told you But it's better I show you So you can know it's facts I tipped the scale And gave the upper hand I'm at the villa With a mom Model when they ask me, yo, what's up with grams? I keep it on me, better watch your mans. The cops came with the dogs, but couldn't smell it in the ceiling fan. Try me if you want, I wrote your name on the bullet. The only reason that you breathing, I ain't aiming to pull it, motherfucker. Send me the Addy, I'm hunting them down. You know I'ma pull up in all black. I gotta focus on getting it right. I ain't worried about a call back. They used to think that I was joking, nigga. I keep telling these niggas to fall back. I want the smoke and all that. I want the dough and all that. Send me the Addy, I'm hunting them down. You know I'ma pull up in all black. I gotta focus on getting it right. I ain't worried about a call back. They used to think that I was joking, nigga. I keep telling these niggas to fall back. I want the smoke and all that. I want the dough and all that. Uh. I'm really living my dream, but most of these rappers that get it, they all cap. Nobody gave me the option to win, I told myself that I am all that. See, I ain't go dance and I ain't go sing, but put a beat on and I'm all rap. Pull out the duffel, it's all rap. Just like a buckle, we all strap. You could get hit with this knowledge without any college. Just look at my fire, was piling, I'm keeping it silent. I buy me a cottage and cop me a whip with no mileage. Don't underestimate, I am a problem and I am the only one left here to solve it. Fuck everybody, I'm done with the talking. Matter of fact, I'ma just walk them. Send me the Addy, I'm hunting them down. You know I'ma pull up in all black. I gotta focus on getting it right. I ain't worried about a call back. They used to think that I was joking, nigga. I keep telling these niggas to fall back. I want the smoke and all that. I want the dough and all that. Send me the Addy, I'm hunting them down. You know I'ma pull up in all black. I gotta focus on getting it right. I ain't worried about a call back. They used to think that I was joking, nigga. I keep telling these niggas to fall back. I want the smoke and all that. I want the dough and all that. I ain't keenin' and I ain't care, but this shorty, she tell me I'm all lack. My knee on my head, this shit is a new era, y'all niggas is all cap. I got the sauce, I want the cheese, I want the dough and all that. If I up the stick, I'm hitting your head, chest, toe, and all that. Your bitch in my inbox, calling my phone, I never answer a call back. They say I'm a dog, cause I'm off the leash, my nigga, so what do you call that? 6-2, I'm a tall cat, shoot a nigga down, we ball at. Hit a nigga in his new J's, headband, ball, and all that. I kickin' your dough, I want all that. Well, all of my niggas 
in all black. Pockets be stuffed with all rats. Y'all niggas be lying, it's all facts. Y'all niggas be rapping, that's all whack. You can't get a verse, nigga, fall back. Get an eighth and we rolling up all that. I with niggas that clap you in all that. Send me the Addy, I'm hunting them down. You know I'ma pull up in all black. I gotta focus on getting it right. I ain't worried about a call back. They used to think that I was joking, nigga. I keep telling these niggas to fall back. I want the smoke and all that. I want the dough and all that. Send me the Addy, I'm hunting them down. You know I'ma pull up in all black. I gotta focus on getting it right. I ain't worried about a call back. They used to think that I was joking, nigga. I keep telling these niggas to fall back. I want the smoke and all that. I want the dough and all that. Seven one six two three five ten sixteen. Seven one six two three five ten sixteen. All right. Before we just took that quick intermission, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I just dead ass forgot what we was about to talk about before we took that intermission. So somebody could just uh, comment and just remind me. Uh, what, my memory is horrible, by the way. Uh, what we was actually just about to talk about. Let me see. Let me get to some of these comments real quick. Okay, we got Ellie Beeman in the building. What's good? Buffalo and Rochester. Not with that. Definitely, definitely not with that. Heavy shouts out to the uh to the Rock. To heavy shouts out Rochester, Syracuse. Shouts out to my boy uh Class Murder out there. Thirty eight special. Uh, shouts out to uh fuck. I forgot. I ain't forget his name. Uh, damn. I just did a mixtape with him too. Uh, shout out to the whole whole Rochester. Damn. What is his name? Shouts out to. Oh my God. I, I work with so many artists. I can't remember the name, but shout out to, I think he's from Denver. If there's a place in Rochester called Denver, shout out to them. Um, damn, what is it? I literally just did one of the hardest mixtapes with them too. I do so much music. Yo, it's crazy. Um, but shout out to the Rochester. Shout out to Syracuse. Heavy shout out to Niagara Falls. Uh, let me see. Download War War Z. Jesse James says that. Oh, shout out to uh, Jesse James too. Heavy shout out to Jesse James. Make sure y'all following. Um, is it? 51. Yo, uh, Jesse, if you want here, uh, just, just shout it out. Shout it out real quick so they can, uh, so they can fuck with you. I forgot the name of the, um, it's 51 Genetics or, I ain't gonna mess it up, bro. If you still on here, you can shout it out. You can promote your, uh, promote your shit on here. Um, yo, Slim, let me see what's good. Tian Watson, we gonna call him Chauncey. Bullets got a new name is Chauncey. That's what it, you got it. You want it? You got it. His new name is Chauncey. Bullets got a new name is, is Chauncey. That's what we call him. Um, Damn, Mr. Black, your channel popping. We need more people in here. Come on, people, pop in. Um, definitely, like I said, it's really not their fault because we haven't been, we haven't been consistent. We haven't been consistent with the videos, but we're going to be more consistent with it now. I guarantee you we're going to be consistent with the videos now. I, I promise you that. Like, we back. We back. This is the channel. This is the channel that you guys all love where you can get the, 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 the realness. You can get the, 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 the real opinions. Like, there's no, um, there's no, what is it called? There's no, we gonna tell you if if I feel away, that's what I'm gonna say. You are gonna get my 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 true opinion, my true feelings. And the, the beautiful thing about this channel for those of you guys that's new on the channel is that um, sometimes I'm gonna be right, sometimes I'm gonna be wrong, but I'm always gonna be respectful. and We can always discuss it um, unless we t if it's like some R Kelly type shit. We can't. I'm just gonna block you. Like I'm not supporting that at all. Like y'all know what I'm saying. Certain stuff I'm not supporting. Um, I'm just I have a right, and I'm just not. I don't I'm just not fucking doing it. All right, that that whole you gotta accept everything and you gotta be okay with everything and all that shit. That's a merit. That's a I ain't agree to that shit. I ain't gotta accept nothing. Uh, no cow four one five. Yo, Slim was good. Rough buff. Nitty Brim was good. Was popping. Uh, back to bullets. Gotti. Yeah, back to Chauncey. His name is Chauncey. Uh, what's good and what you've been up to? Randy Nichols TV said, "What's good and what you've been up to?" Honestly, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I've been doing good. Like lately, I've been doing good. Um, last. I don't know how long. Life was stressful for a minute, but I'm good. Now, sometimes you got to um, get out of a situation to realize that that situation was never for you. Um, I'll say it like that. Sometimes you got to get out of a situation to realize that that situation was never for you, especially when we'll, we'll just say that I'm good now. All right. But on this channel, you always gonna get honesty. Don't ask me nothing you don't want to answer for. I'm going to tell you the truth about everything. I'm not going to just 2022. Y'all gonna get a hundred, y'all always got a hundred percent real, uh, bandana black, but y'all gonna get a hundred percent honest everything. I don't care what the topic is. Nigga, I just did a video about whack 100. Everybody else was scared to do this shit. Everybody else would have did this video. Shit would have been down within an hour. I didn't disrespect that man, even though he disrespected where I'm from. Didn't disrespect whack 100. Um, I'm not gonna disrespect whack 100 unless he does something to disrespect me, uh, directly. And it'll just be, I don't even know that. Y'all don't even know this nigga. And y'all be letting this nigga do this in New York. I don't forget. Listen, I don't know whack 100. Y'all don't know Wack 100 either. Stop letting this nigga buy y'all. Think about it like this, right? Wack 100 is on the other side of the map. Using you to set up and to downplay people that's on the same side of the map as you. So let's just look at simple math, right? Wack is, let's say, five hours away. 
and you're fucking with people that's five minutes away from you. A lot of these people. So eventually all these people that you're fucking with that whack 100 is using you to fuck with. They're five minutes away from you, bro. I'm not saying anything is going to happen. Bullets, Gotti and others, but it's probably not a good idea. Just, uh, just simple math. Remember the other day when I did the video about Chicago, when I was saying like how you Chicago niggas, I'm not just saying specifically. No, I ain't saying specifically because I was watching a news story that specifically said Chicago. If you niggas have 200 shootings and only two people die, not saying anybody should die, but just off of math alone, you can't afford to have ops. You're going to go to jail. And you're going to die. If every time y'all go out every weekend, y'all shoot 200 people. And only two people die. God forbid, everybody should be alive. Nobody should die. But on averages alone, you're averaging 2%, my nigga. You're, you're averaging knocking down your ops 2%. Simple math. This is why you should not be able to be in a gang unless you 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 got to do a little, a little bit of math. Um, just a little bit of math to understand simple, like, mathematics. It doesn't. It doesn't work. It's, it's, it's just not, it's not going to work. But these are the people that WAC 100 is supporting and pushing to be the face of these different things, to, to talk to you people and to make it seem like these are the people that, that's here to help. I think that we should put less attention and less focus and less clout on people like WAC 100, who's only concerned about WAC 100 in California and WAC 100 in Blueface and WAC 100 affiliated things and kind of maybe care about where you're from. I'm not, even if you're wrong, say for example, right? And I'll talk about specifics here because a lot of this comes from Clubhouse, a lot of this comes from uh, YouTube, but different shit like that too. So I don't, I don't want y'all to get in my comments and get in my inbox and all that stuff. Black, you shouldn't be talking about this because you're not from there. Whack 100 is not from New York. He shouldn't be talking about it either. So don't, if you're going to tell me that, you tell him the same thing. Um, but this is the thing that, that, that I'm saying about as far as like with Whack 100. Whenever anybody says anything about the West Coast, anything like that, then that's when it's, oh, I'm a street nigga. That's policy. This gang bang. You know what I'm saying? Gang gang. Yeah, I mean, you can't do that. But then when you're doing bozo shit that's affecting people's lives, like you're supporting a rat. You're supporting Chauncey, aka Bullets Gotti, who was doing these things to affect people's like safety in New York. And you, we, we can't say it, but you can. That shit is crazy. Why am I saying we? Because I don't follow that shit. Again, I have no affiliation. Nobody can tell me shit. I'm from a different place. It's just set, it's just set up different where I'm from. That's one of the, the, the things I can say that's the blessing about being from Buffalo or even being from the, it might not even be a Buffalo thing. It might just be a central Park. It might be East side Buffalo. I really don't know, but it's just a, you can't tell, you can give me your advice. You can give me your uh, opinion. It's not like other places where one person can make a call to somebody and say, yo, this is what we're doing. You can make a call and say, yo, this is a good idea. This is what's working for us. You can try to do that and then jump on board. And that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to make a decision as a grown man. But a lot of you niggas on Clubhouse and YouTube and other content creators and stuff like that, too. And I'm not saying anybody specific. Like I said, I fuck with a lot of content creators. A lot of content creators who have WAC 100 on their platforms do it in a way to where it's respectful and you're not letting them to to, to overstep their boundaries. Shout out to Def of a Cloud Chaser. I fuck with Def of a Cloud Chaser. That's the homie, Big Chuck. Um, we haven't talked in a while. We might not be as close as before. I mean, I'm just an honest person because of Bullets Gotti. That's his homie. I don't fuck with Bullets Gotti. I'm, he's a clown. He's a bozo. It's nothing Bullets or Gotti about this bozo. Um, I don't fuck with him. He's a clown. He's bad for New York. He's not even, he shouldn't even be at the cool table. But I fuck with Death of a Clout Chaser, Big Chuck. I understand that's his homie. So if you don't fuck with me on the same level because of him, because I keep getting thrown to the goo every time I come in the room and shit like that, which is cool. That's cool. I have my own platform where I can address and say these. It's no problem. I fuck with, I honestly fuck with Death of the Cloud Chaser. I fuck with uh, BBN Network. I even fuck with, I heavily fuck with Queen's Foot. Me and Queen's Foot used to talk back and forth a little bit on Twitter and shit like that too, but I guess our relationship might be a little bit different because of Lil Haas X, Hassan Campbell. Again, that's not my fault. Y'all support this bozo doing shit. And then even when he flipped out on you, Queen Slip, then you wanted to say something back to him, but maybe our, our, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck anymore. Honestly, uh, all bozo shit is not allowed on this channel. And if it, if it happens, we're going to talk about it pretty much. Uh, no, nobody's safe. Nobody's excluded. Um, bandana fam, we back. I feel you, bro. Randy Nichols TV says, I feel you, bro. This nigga disrespected Connecticut yesterday and his words. We got to get down. Hold on. Sean Summer says this nigga dis disrespected Connecticut yesterday and his words. We got to get down. What happened yesterday with Connecticut? It's all a setup. My control is exact, et cetera. Exactly. Um, yeah, that whole, we got to get down thing. Like, you know, what's crazy? like honest to God. I'm, I'm, you know, when I say this, like, y'all think I'm being funny, but I'm dead serious. Like that whole, we got to get down that whole, I'm gonna give you my address. And 
I thought like the, the young kids, I understand that because these young niggas, like I said, want to go to jail. Like Kodak Black, NBA Young Boy, you do a crime, you videotape the crime, you rap about the crime, then you give it to the uh to to to, to the YouTube for the lawyers, and anything to see if you to go to jail, for you to blame the white man for you being in jail. No, nigga, you want to go to jail. Um, but besides those, besides those type of rappers, like it's just. I don't know. Like, I don't see how y'all don't see what WAC 100 is doing. I, I just, I don't get it. Like, it's, it's, I don't get it. Just on the, the simple fact of like, let's just leave, let's leave all politics to the side. Like, let's leave all, all everything to the side. Just being a decent person. You cannot, nobody, like, you know, I said, I fuck with, I said, I fuck with uh BBN network. I fuck with uh death of the cloud chaser. I fuck with uh dice TV. I fuck with Queens flip. I fuck with uh Oh five Oh, the movement. Shout out to Harlem and them. I fuck with a lot of different, a lot of different, um, a lot of different platforms, a lot of different movements and all that different type of stuff. Right. So I fuck with a lot of these different platforms, but I have no affiliations to the point to where I can't say what I feel, how I feel. I'm always going to be respectful and I'm always going to tell the uh, truth, but it's just a lot of these other platforms and a lot of these other people, they are playing a dangerous game by allowing. How the fuck is Hassan Campbell? My bad. Lil Haas X and academics, the face of anything. And by the way, uh, WAC 100, the same thing that academics did to Chicago. A weird, a, 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 a few of us that do have a platform that do have a voice. We are not going to allow you to allow him to do that to New York State as a whole. Listen, I can't, when I say New York State, I can't say like the whole New York, because I'm not from New York City. There's nothing against New York City. I'm not from New York City. I've never been to New York City. But Buffalo is a part of New York State. Buffalo, New York is a part of New York State. So when you're doing something that affects New York State, you're doing something that affects Buffalo. So WAC 100, by you protecting academics, by you putting your stamp and you protecting academics and that rat 6ix9ine and everybody's affiliated with them, by you saying, these niggas is with me, Y'all got a problem with them. Y'all got a problem with me. Cause that's what you did. You didn't say that, but that's what you did. That's why the people respect them. That's why the people ain't going across their head because of you, WAC 100. That's what you did. So you did play politics. You use your affiliations and your street shit to get in a position to do business shit. And then when you do bozo shit, that's bozo shit with business and street shit. You just say, nah, nephew, this ain't, this ain't street shit. It ain't together. It is together. You have a bunch of street people in your business and you're doing street shit and business shit. But just keep it on. Don't let it affect New York as a whole. That's all. As long as it don't affect New York as a whole, you will never hear nothing from Bandana Black. You will never let, hear me telling people the truth about you, Act 100. Um, just don't let it affect New York as a whole. Go find another state. Do it to somebody else. Um, and, and, and it'd be cool. That, that's cool. Uh, let me see. Mr. I am Buffalo. Uh, what's good? What's good? I see it from Africa. Damn, they can see it from Africa. That's crazy. You know what's crazy? I'm half African, dude. Uh, my, my dad is Nigerian. Nigga said Lil Haas X. Civilian was never a thing until rappers said that shit. Everybody get it. No, that civilian thing was never a thing until WAC 100 put his stamp on it because of what the respect that he gets because of what he is. Um, that's what it is. That, that shit is the same thing. The same thing that 6ix9ine and Trey Lay was doing is the same thing that WAC 100 is doing right now, just globally, but he has the, the help of people from New York City doing it. This shit is for sale. Yeah, read between the lines. What he's doing is for fucking sale. It was for fucking sale when Six Nine was doing it, and he's fucking doing it now. It's it's yeah. You should not you, you should not be able to being a real person and being respect respect should not be for sale. Being able to freely be able to go where real niggas go should not be for sale. It comes with being a real nigga. It comes with living life and going through those experiences. You can't skip that line because of whack one hundred. You can't skip that line because of on business, you can pull up and we can shoot the fade. It don't work that way. It don't work the way where I'm from. You can let that shit work the way where you from and the, you know, the internet people where you from. But as far as me and you know, on my platforms, it's not because it, it affects New York. I work too hard for it. I spent the last 20 years of my life dedicated to pushing the culture forward, to to pushing these artists to to so to, to, to you hear these artists and these artists can get the shines that they have. Not just for this short, what, what, not just for this nigga to come and ruin it all. Because he, because he, because he's stingy. So why the fuck we can talk about everything else, but we can't talk about the game? Can we talk about these, uh, these sexual whatever allegations? Can we talk about that? Can we talk about the blue face shit, or is that no? That's business. That's your business. We can't talk about it. That it, it, street shit is alone. Them niggas are street niggas. You a street nigga. The, the, everything is the same. You're just separating it when it comes to your shit, and that's cool. Like I said, I understand it. I just can't support. it. I don't have nothing bad to say about whack on it. I ain't nothing good to say about whack on it. Um, but I do have something good to say about Maino, and I think that's where the attention needs to be. Um, Mano Elise is trying to save the money for these, for, for, for these young guys. At least they can still make money. Like niggas is going to shoot each other all day. Gang gang shit is going to happen. Um, but I'd much rather 
you go uh, fight for the rest of your life with the money that you made from rapping to get a lawyer than to do it with a public defender, which you niggas keep doing. And you wouldn't need a public defender in the first place if you didn't commit crimes. Keep the proof, rap about it, and then put it out. Nigga, you literally, I'm not even going to explain it. You niggas want to go to jail. That's it. Anyways, DJ Band to the Black, Mr. Well-Connected, even more respected. I'm probably about to figure out something to eat for lunch, and I might head over to a uh, pet store and pick up some new fish. I don't know. I'm bored of shit. But anyways, um, y'all be safe. DJ Band to the Black, Mr. Well-Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. Actually, you know what? We never played the intro. We're going to play that first, and then we are going to, uh, let me see. Oh, no, I never told y'all. You know what? We're not done yet. Hang on. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. Let me just, uh, can I put this on the screen? Hang on. We're going to play the end. DJ Bandana Black and Doris Records. Yeah, man. Bandana Black, you know, he always played local music, you know, for Buffalo, man. We That was the only DJ we really had, you know what I'm saying? And um, he always showed love, man. He always been a fan, you know, since day one. I knew him before. I, I knew him before he was even bandana black, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like when he when he became, you know, on the radio, uh, a radio DJ, man, he just always showed love, man. So, you know, definitely shout out to Bandana Black. Yeah, what Eve we bandana black. DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Morning. Morning. Warning. Tonight's forecast is a total blackout. You know what that means, baby, baby. It's the blackout with DJ Black. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy Taj, man. I want to give a big, big shout out to my brother, my guy, DJ Bandana Black. The blackout Buffalo stand up. God Squad, Free Dick Wolf, Leo. What's good, Buffalo? This your boy, Uncle Murder, from Brooklyn, East New York. And you already know I'm rocking with the homie DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connect. Even more respected, the blackout. This the king of Philly, Gilly the Kid, and kings only rock out with kings, so you know I'm rocking out with my man DJ Bandana Black, aka Mr. I Am Buffalo. Huh? Hey, yo, it's poppin', man. It's your boy Spills, and you are now tuned into the blackout, hosted by DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. You already know we got love for you. Westside Stand DJ Up. DJ Ban Ban Bandana.